Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is part two of my No Driver MGA tournament at the lovely, gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic, excellent Darby Creek Golf Course in Slummy, Marysville, Ohio. As you guys know, I shot a very disappointing 41 on my front. We had the shotgun start from hole number 16. Played to the last hole, hole number 6, a par 5, which I ended with a bogey. Uh, not the start that I wanted for my uh, front nine, you know. I Being this tournament is at my home course, I just wanted to go low. And to drop a 41, it was absolutely heartbreaking. So going into this back, I told myself just to chill out, slow my swing down, don't blow up and make any serious airs. I didn't have a lot of strokes. To break that 80 mark, I had two strokes. So I wanted to try to possibly, you know, a possibility of, of dropping a few bird sandwiches. And definitely avoiding any doubles or triples. If I got a double or triple, I was destination fucked. Just like that hustle yeah, rocket. Hustle not what you want to see. I'm telling you, not what you want to see. A 160-yard hustle rocket. Then to tell you the truth, I, I just hit that 54 right there. A little bit fat. But I come through right here up against the cart path. Put this one a few feet away. Tap it in. What a world class up and down right here. That is what I need. And I need to do that the rest of the time out. In hole 11, as you see, it, it's 160 plus yard par 3 over water. If you go deep, you, well, it's just marked down a bogey. Go a little Texas wedge off of the fringe. And again, another great up and down for par. I'm starting to fill the flow. I have now removed the three hybrid from my bag. Once I hustle rocket with a club, it's done. Don't be a jabron. If you hit it like one, leave it alone. Straight up. If you hustle rocket a club, don't touch the club again. I put that club away. I'm rocking now the five off of the tee from here on out. And this putt is, is dangerously on, close from dropping from birdie. Again, I am missing greens. I'm not hitting greens, but I am managing to get up and down with a few Texas wedges within a few feet. Sneaking in some pars is what I need. And right here with this five. 225 yards out, one of the best fairway shots from 200 plus yards out I've ever had in my life. And of course, being like a personal best shot, I absolutely go Schwinkter City USA with an unnecessary three putt. Now I have to par out. Holes 14 and 15. I have to par out to break that 80 mark. That was the whole goal this season, was to break the 80 mark in as many tournaments as possible. So far in my two tournaments, I've went 82 and 80. Felt like both of those tournaments, I should have been under the 80 mark. I'm just, right now, my asshole is so tight. My sphincter is... is Squeezing so tight I could create diamonds in that b-hole. And right here from the grace of God, I make that six footer for par. Hole number 15 though is a difficult long par four. I go a bit hooky on my drive. I have a weird second. I'm kind of on the fairway, kind of in the rough. And I just blast this eight iron a bit deep. Really disappointing. I can't believe it. I'm just in a bad spot right there. I am right up against the rough in the fringe. I blow it all the way past the green. And again, off of the fringe putt, it is not going to happen. I tap it in. 
for an 80 on the dot. Back to back tournaments, I have went 80. Both of those tournaments, I feel like I should have been in the 70s. My heart is breaking to play a tournament at my home course and not drop a low round for the bros. My main goal is always to go low for the bros. And I know an 80 is not a horrible score, but it wasn't what I was looking for. But nonetheless, 80 on the dot is not bad. 11 of 14 fairway, 6 of 18 greens, 31 putts. As always, I'll see you guys on the next Ohio Golf Logs. <laughs>